Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a video on the 1911. This is a WE blowback pistol. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble completely the rear, uh, the, sorry, the rear, the bottom half. And then I'm going to do a part two because it's going to be too long of a video on the upper half on how to fully strip that and how to clean that. So you're going to need a few tools for this, something like a pair of long nose pliers, maybe some needle tweezers, a flat headed screwdriver, <clears throat> a small posy screwdriver and that's pretty much all you're going to need for this. So we'll jump straight into it. First thing we need to do is take off the top slide. So dead easy, everyone knows. You just push up out, pull your slide back. Release it forward. Pull the spring out and just leave that to one side. So this is what we're gonna be working on today. The bottom half and where all the parts go. Disassembly and reassembly. So <clears throat> we'll start off by taking the grips off either side. To do that, that easy. Flap the screwdriver, undo. Undo the two screws. Like that, they are two different sizes. The smallest being goes at the bottom and the one with the longer thread at the top. So once you've done that, just take that off. That can go to one side. Use a dish to keep all your screws safe. Don't want to lose them. Flip it over and just do the same again. Just take this side off as well. Once we've done that, we can remove the uh, safety to do that. Just lift it up, it's already lifted up. Lift it up, that side will drop off. Come from there. So just take that one out and then just pull this one out as well. When you take this side off, there's a tiny little pin here that's dropping out. And there's a spring behind that pin, so just take that out and push from this side. Give it a little tap, the spring pops out, and there's also another section. So when this goes back in, it's going to go in this order exactly how you see it there. Okay, so they can go to one side, we don't need them. Next, we're going to remove. Um, the back part which is this here to do that push this through just keep some pressure on it when you're doing that so just push that through if you've got a punch this is where it's going to come in handy as you push that pull it out like that and just gently let that come down on the spring. So inside there is where your blowback spring is. In there. If you remove this little brass pin there, it will it will release that spring if you need to take that out. So the leaf spring, which has just come out on its own accord, I'll put it back in so I can show you where it come out. Just put this back on. So that's how you'll have yours at the minute. So just remove that back part there, and the leaf spring, you've got the right hand side which is sitting on here. You've got the middle section, which lift this bar out of the way. The middle section, which is sitting on the back part there, you should see. You should see a little bit of wear on there as well, where it's been sitting. And then this part here is what pushes down 
on your, your when you pull your trigger it's part of the safety it uh, releases that so just remove that leaf spring like that put that to one side now what we need to do is remove this small Phillips screw here so just take that out like that pull that to one side and then we're just going to gently ease this part up no we're not on some of the 1911s this little pin here is a flat headed screwdriver now if yours is a flat headed screwdriver one you just need to undo that just keep undoing it a little bit and just wiggling it up until it pops out this is a different design so the easiest way i've found to pop it out is by taking these two c clips off here which is going to remove this bar which holds in your pins for your safety and it allows us to pull that section off so i'm just going to whip them off quick spin them round try not to lose these Actually, need a smaller there we go that's one out and then the other one just do the same that's the second one out so the two C clips just put them to one side for now and then this bar we're just going to lift up like that just give it a wiggle and it'll pop out put that to one side now we're going to remove this section here you can see it's already quite wobbly to do that just literally give it a wiggle and it will pop out like so now on the other side of this there is a spring just there we need to be careful that that's not going to fly off we'll disassemble this section now and then I'll, I'll show you disassembling the rest of the bottom half so to disassemble this we need to release the tension off the spring and to do that we're just going to flick that side of the spring there just over onto the opposite side and that will release the tension so just lift it up like that gently and then just lift that section up there <clears throat> and that all comes out just like that Once we've done that, you should find a small posi screw just there. Now if we just undo this, put some pressure on it, don't let it pop up. There's a little spring under this as well. So remove that tiny screw and then just gently lift up and let the pressure come off. And then lift this as well and you'll see a small spring right there I'm going to leave that in there and put all this to one side for now because we don't need to touch all, touch all of that <clears throat> okay so we're back to the lower half again So if you just lift up your trigger at this point, that'll just come out dead easy like that. And then so this black section here, just lift that up like that, put that out as well. And then the silver section underneath, this one, that'll just easily just slide out like that. And that's everything stripped out apart from your trigger. If you want to change your trigger or you need to get your trigger out for some reason, if you just turn it over, there's a small flat headed screwdriver in there. If you push that in and turn it, it's like a quarter turn and release. It holds it in there in the tension. Just push from the other side there and the whole section will come out. Like that. 
and then just push your trigger back and you can pull it and just wiggle that out of the back like that so that's completely disassembled now there's no other part left to come off the bottom half okay so let's start reassembling it everything in reverse trigger first put that in like that and then just get that bolt which is here just plop that back in there once you've done that just again quarter turn the opposite way let that come out and it's back under pressure and your trigger won't fall out so the first part we need is this one which is that silver silver bar so I'm gonna put that in there and it just sits inside like that once you've done that one grab this one which is the black one that we took out I'm not gonna lie I don't know the names for all these little parts and then just put that in there like Like that. So it should be looking something like that at the minute. So once that bit's done, we can then go ahead and put the trigger back in. Trigger, dead easy, just sits inside like that. Just like that. <clears throat> Now we need to reassemble this small section. We've got over here. Okay. So remember that spring that's in there. There's a groove cut out on this side. And that just sits inside there on that spring like that just be careful that's not going to flick out put that flat on your workbench once you've got it on there just going to put that bit over the top like that <clears throat> and then put this little tiny posi screw back in where it came from which is just in there okay once we've done that put the spring as you've got it well, as I've got it here, that's how it's going to go in. Just put that in on the top, rest it on there. And then this part here sits like that. So we can put that spring inside the groove. Can be a little bit fiddly this part. Especially when you've got magnetic tools. Okay, let's do it a different way. Let's put the spring on there first. And just thread that inside there. And let the spring sit over like that. That's right, fiddly bit there. That's so. <clears throat> my tweezers. Oh, everything's magnetic. <laughs> Sorry, guys.
there we go right so that's back on once we've got to that stage there we need to flick that part of the spring back over here so we flicked it back over the arm as you can see there it's sitting back where it should be and that's sitting inside that to give it a test if this is working just um, push that in and that should pop up there and then just push that back down and it should flick out so we know that's all working out it should be working okay so now we can put that section back and to do that a little bit fiddly but wiggle it back in the way the way it come out really it's um Like I say, can be a little bit fiddly. Just persevere. There we go. So that's just popped back in. Like so. So once we've got that back in there. <coughs> We can go ahead and put this bar back on, which sits just in there. Now you will notice one side is longer than the other, from the stalk to the end, from there to there. The shorter side goes towards the front of the gun. So put that in there like that. Grab your C-clips. Sometimes your C-clips will fray out a bit. So if they have frayed a little bit, just give them a little bend to put them back into shape. There we go. Dead easy. Put that inside like that and you could literally just push it on with your hand and that C-clip sitting back in where it needs to. Go ahead, put the other one on. I would use my tweezers for this, but they're magnetic and it's not making it very easy. So, that's back in. Now what we can do is put the leaf spring back in. So this leaf spring, as you can see it, I'll do a side on view. It's looking like that. Okay. That's going to sit in there. And it should look like that. So you've got that little kink section sitting on there. The middle arm sitting on the back bit. There. And then this bit sticking up. Like that. That's put, come back down. Just let that rest on there for now. We're going to go ahead and put in these little springs. So, as you can see it on the picture here, this is either going to go in in that order. So, the bigger section in, then the spring. And then the last pin part pushes in the back. Like that. Okay guys, so once you've got that back in, we need to put this uh, posi screw back in. Like so, tighten that up so it's nice and tight. And then we're going to go uh, put the back end on. So to do that, we need this, which goes in that way. 
make sure that leaf spring sitting how I showed you and just literally put it in like that once we've got it to there we're going to put this which is the blowback section inside and you want that arm there that pin to push down on that center point so it is going to be quite tough to get that on as you can see I'm pushing against it and it is just put, forcing it back down so put some pressure on it to get that in and it will just pop in like that the pin will so we should be looking something like that at the minute Now we can put the safeties on, and the safeties are dead easy, just put it in there and there, like that, and then just push that pin away with some tweezers underneath the safety, once you've done that, just push the safety down like that. We can put this half of the case back on now, the uh, grip, so just like that smaller screw goes on the bottom don't over tighten these <coughs> and the bigger screw goes on the top Flick it over. Now we're going to put the other half of the safety on. That just sits in there like that. And um, if you notice on there, there's like a triangle shape. So it'll only go in one way anyway. So you know if you got it right, because it'll just drop in dead easy. Put this side on. that and that is all back together and as you can see it's all working out it should be yeah nice and simple so this video is out i know it's gonna help somebody because it's been requested yeah, thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one like i say doing the top slide is going to be part two which i'll post today as well it's just going to show how to give it a good clean where all the parts go uh, some lubrications and stuff like that so yeah don't forget to check that out as well thanks for watching guys i'll see you again